Hello, everybody, and welcome in to a very special episode of American Truck Simulator. Today, I am finally revealing the Australian Outback map on the channel. I know a lot of other guys have done videos on this already, but I am just now finally getting to it. And let me tell you, this map is amazing. I've been playing it for a couple weeks now just to kind of get used to everything, kind of see how it is. And I love it. I've been playing this more than regular truck, uh, American Truck Simulator recently. Uh, it is by Rob's Rob V. I believe he actually lives in Australia, and he is doing uh, most of Aus parts of Australia. Um, you can get this on his Patreon page, which I will have listed in the description below. There'll be a link to his Patreon page, and there is three different tiers that you can subscribe to there is the three dollar one that gives you basic um access you that can download it um that's really about it and you get some discord benefits as well from his discord there's the 650 a month um you get to download the map you get patreon plus which gives you access to um some more behind the scenes content that he does. Can I get a, a, a earlier look into uh, what he's doing to the map? And then there is the $13 one, which is basically the same as the $6.50 one, just with some extra benefits onto it. So like I said, I'll have this linked in the description below. Um, so you guys can check it out for yourselves. Uh, we'll talk about the truck real quick. The truck is, once again, the Max Superliner by uh, KSW Mods. It is a $30 mod, um, but it is one of the better ones I have seen. It has eight different cab options, three different chassis options, and tons of more customization that you can do. Let's look in the truck real quick. You see, we're on the right-hand side of the truck like they drive in Australia. That's one cool feature about this um, truck is that you can drive on the right hand side like they do in Australia in the road trains. You see we got our passenger seat, we've got uh, our cooler and our pop and then there's our back seat and there's our back, can't really see it that well. There's the dash and all that and then here's up above. It's a pretty good looking truck. I must admit, this is a really good looking truck. Take a look at the outside again real quick. You can see we have the road train um, signs on though. We're not actually a road train today. We've only got uh, 6,000 pounds of electrical components going to Minedia Min Station. I think I said that right, probably not. Um, so that's what we're doing today in this uh, in this episode. So we'll fire the truck up and uh, we'll hit the road. Hey, let's hit the road. Let's get out of here. All right, so this is the newest um, updated version. I'm gonna get some lag. Um, this is the newest updated version. It just came out a week ago. It's uh, update 3.0. Um, he has redone a lot of the texturing along some new there's new textures and improved older textures. Um, he's also went in and improved a lot of the buildings in this update. And uh, Kulati was partially rebuilt according to the Patreon post. And he added the train station in as well over there. Uh, we'll be going through Kulati, but we won't be stopping because we got to. We got a load to run. And he has added cargo support for the KSW tankers and WS4800 KSB add-on trailers as well. Sometimes, for some reason around here, I get a lot of lag. I don't know why. But as you can see, you drive have to drive on the left hand side and as I've been saying you're on the right side so it's kind of interesting to uh, try to get used to 
being so used to driving on the left side in your vehicle and then being on the right side of the road, this is kind of a, it's a bit different, I, mean, I can tell you, that's for sure. I just want to say happy Saturday to everybody. Hopefully everybody's week went well. Uh, my week was pretty long. Um, had a 45-hour work week this week, uh, mainly because we had a uh, people from uh, our district uh, offices come in on Wednesday, and we had a, our first business walk in over a year and a half. So I was busy dealing with that and just a bunch of other stuff at work this week. So content hasn't really been on my uh, forefront to get around to Ugh. there's one thing about this map um, he did a good job with making the roads rough like you cannot go f super fast on some of these roads because you will damage your truck and your trailer so you got you got to take it pretty easy for some of these spots and the tech the scenery is just amazing like, we'll go to the outside view here real quick. You can just see this is just amazing. It's really well done. Try to keep up some speed. Man, you can kind of get a look around real quick. It is really well done. And it's only being improved more as he continues on um, with the development of this. All right, so another news, if you haven't heard already, the Wyoming DLC has finally been announced for release, and it is coming out September 7th, so you can bet that we will definitely be taking a look at that the day it comes out. That is the day I come back from vacation from the Old Threshers reunion, and when I get back, I will definitely, definitely be buying the state and we will be taking a look at it we'll get a first hand look at wyoming on september 7th so stick around for that i'm excited i'm excited for a new state so uh that'll be something to look forward to oof oof oh god god if i had one of those motion platforms i'd be bouncing all around Oh, goodness gracious. And yeah, this is why I said you cannot go very fast, because they're all these bumps and what you actually that's they're actually bumps. They're not just on there. They're you you feel them. Uh last weekend I spent both Saturday and Sunday out with Iowa Interstate 6988, the 2102QJ that the railroad has. Um, they did excursions for the Oxford and Wilton Fire Departments. Uh, this is gonna get this is gonna get bumpy. Slow our way down. Um, they did five excursions for Oxford, and they did four for Wilton. Um, I rode each day. Saturday I rode the 130 train. Um, for Oxford in the vestibule of one of the newly repainted coaches, which I might say they, they look pretty spiffy if you've seen my teaser video. Um, and then the next day, I rode the 1030 train at Wilton. I don't believe I took any video of that. And then I ended up riding the uh, business cars um, for the last trip of the day. Um, I have a good buddy who works for the Iowa Interstate that uh, got us on the business cards, so you'll uh, get to get to see that in the video as well. Um, lots of good action, and it's all in 4K too. Um, all the videos except two are taken in 4K, so that'll be that's exciting too. I've never shot in 4K before, but uh, yeah, I'm slowly working on that video. That should I'm hoping to have it out before I leave for. Uh, Old Threshers. Now here's another cool aspect of this map. He's added livestock 
as like as random events, the little start a little across the road. So you've got cows, and I believe he's also got kangaroos in here as well. Come on, cows! Come on, go around them. So yeah, you will randomly stumble upon cows and kangaroos, which is also really, really, really cool. should be able to pick up a little bit of speed. Usually 30, 35 is the fastest I like to go. Sometimes 40 on the dirt roads. Just because they're so bumpy still. You don't want to really ruin your truck. We'll do 40. 40 should be good. But yeah. If you have not... Subscribe to, this, to Rob's Patreon for this map. You need to. This is amazing. It is probably one of the best map mobs. Map mobs. Matt. Oh, Jesus. It is probably one of the best map mods that is out there for Mega Truck Simulator. And it's only getting better as he continues development of this map. So... Like, I, like I've said, it's $3.650 or $13, and you can have access to this map and much, much more. Um, I got to get my hats off to this guy. He's, he's done a really good job on this. It's kind of added something different until we get, the new, until we get Wyoming for um, a regular American Truck Simulator. So yeah, check him out if you haven't. Seriously, I, I'm not just saying that just to help him. I'm I'm being sincere about this. He he's done a really good job, and I probably should slow down for those bumps, but eh, whatever. slow down for this area. Oh boy. Alright, come on. Oh, it's starting to rain. Oh, that's not what it is. It's Pete. There we go. Go to this area. Yeah, I think we're through all the rocks. Take a look at. We'll do a little bit of uh, outside view driving here for you guys here, real quick.
All right, looks like we're coming up to the highway here in Kuladi. Um, this is another part of the uh, 3.0 update that he's done. Is Kuladi? He updated a lot of the uh, the buildings and the road textures and all that, and added the train station in too. Well, we're not stopping in Kuladi today. We're going straight on through. We're getting on the highway, so. Oh, nice lag there. Alright, we're going for it. Alright, now we're on the highway. So now we can... Ooh, after that lag, uh, we can make up for a little lost time. No oh, cool, it's got passed by Prius. So yeah, I'm not sure how much content will be coming out in like the next week or so. Because um, as I've been stating, I'll be at Midwest Old Threshers from September 2nd through the 6th. I'm going to be there all five days. Um, we'll be coming back the 7th. And then I'm off work from the 7th through the 12th. And I'll go back to work till September 13th. So, in that whole week, I want to... We're going to try to get as much stuff done with the house as we can, since I'm off that whole entire week. But uh, we'll see. But obviously, I'm going to plan on doing some more content when I'm home. I'm going to try at least. We'll see, though. But uh, I should have plenty of Old Threshers videos to upload as well. Including a, uh, a little bit of a surprise that I didn't know about. I'm not going to spoil anything in case any of y'all are going when I watch this. But there is a new engine on the property for the Midwest Central Railroad on the Thresher's grounds, so that'll be something exciting to look forward to. That's all I'm going to say about it. It's a new engine. I'm not going to say if it's steam or diesel, but there's a new engine on the property that they just finished rebuilding. They were going to run it last year, but due to COVID, old Thresher's didn't happen last year, so now they're going to unveil it this year. So that'll be pretty cool to see. So. Uh, but uh, let me know in the comments if uh, any of you guys are going to uh, Midwest Old Threshers and uh, maybe we'll see each other. All right, how many more miles we got? We got 50 miles left. Um, this is also a one to two scale map. It's not one to one, so not each mile is an actual mile. I think each mile in the game it's like I actually like represent as like a half a mile I think it's still a pretty decent sized map so it's it's not quite as quick as American Truck Simulator where you can get somewhere in like 30 minutes it's gonna this is gonna take you like 45 minutes to an hour to get a run done just because the the scale is a little bit bigger which I don't mind at all but yeah it is a one to two scale uh, map here as it is as it is mentioned in the uh, manual that you get with the game. With, with the map, my bad. Alright, I think I'm going to step out for a screenshot real quick, guys, and I will be right back. Alright, we are back. Got a good screenshot there. But yeah, I'm very impressed with the work that Rob has put in for this map. It looks amazing so far. This truck itself, the map Superliner, is really good too. It's really worth the $30 that it is. Because it, it really gives you the, uh, the almost pretty much the full Australian experience when you're driving. The only thing I don't have access to is any like road train trailers. I know we have like the stock triples and all that in the game but uh, there's a couple mods on KSW's website for uh, road train trailers that I think I'm going to try out here in a little bit um, just so that we can actually run a road train instead of running just this small little trailer that we've got today 
So that'd be fun. Um, as a, not really a reminder, but uh, a note, side note, um, the weekend of September 5th and 6th, as well as we know, is Old, Old Thresher's weekend. It is also Labor Day weekend. And uh, 6988 is uh, making excursion runs in the Des Moines area to uh, benefit the Science Museum, I believe it is. Uh, they'll be running excursions out of Des Moines, Iowa on the 5th and 6th. Um, so that'll be something to look forward to. I believe tickets are like $12 a piece, which is really cheap for tickets. So uh, if you want to see a Iowa State steam engine, head out to Des Moines um, September 5th and 6th and uh, check it out. Uh, I believe, like I said, 12, tickets are $12. And while you're at it, you can donate. Uh, if you go, you can donate to the CSSPA, which may, helps maintain 6988, and they operate it as well. Uh, any donations would be appreciated to them as they are getting ready to rebuild the 6988, I believe, next year. It will go under its FRA 1472 inspection slash rebuild because I believe they're going to have to rebuild it and all that. Rebuild some stuff in it, I would imagine. Could be wrong, but any little donation helps them out. It helps cover the costs of repairing the locomotive. It helps cost the fuel and water, and it helps get them a better shop as well out there in Newton, Iowa. So yeah, September 5th and 6th, if you're not going to Old Threshers and you live close, closer to the Des Moines area and you want to see a steam engine run on the main line, check it out. Uh, you can check it out, guys. That'd be really cool if you could help them out and help out the Science Museum or Science Center as well. Let's see, you got 34 miles to go to get to Minedetta. However, you pronounce it. Looks like the rain's starting to line up a bit. Turn our wipers off completely. Oh boy, went off the road there a bit. Looks 
looks like we got a bit of a hill that we're going to be going up here. Eh, I got no problem getting up the hill. a little bit more of outside driving for you guys you give you something a little different to look at here another hill again see how the truck does up this hill got 21 to go at the end of the video I will uh, pull up the actual map for us so that you can kind of see what what you get with the map so far and this is by no means a complete product this is still very much a work in progress for him but we'll take a look at the map and show you what what uh, what cities we've got so far We might have to go around these people at some point here. see anybody coming we're gonna go ahead and get around these guys oh, we're coming up to a railroad crossing don't know if he has actual trains in in here yet but he's got the rail lines in with that which that's pretty cool oh they're passing on a solid line Ooh, that's a no-no This will probably be a longer video as well, just because of because of the drive. I don't really want to cut out any of it because this is just so good. So this will probably be a, a longer video, which I'm alright with, because this is just too good to pass up. 
and supposedly um, SCS is possibly doing um, support for mod maps so we might be able to do some convoys in the outback which would be really really awesome to have a bunch of friends just driving in the great out the great outback that'd be awesome to get around these guys as well. Uh, nobody's coming. Three miles away from our destination. Looks like we're gonna be turning up here, so I'll start jaking. And turn our turn signal on. Just to forewarn the people behind us that we're turning. On the dirt roads we go. I just can't get over how good this looks. Holy moly. See, this dirt road's smooth enough where we can actually go the full speed limit and be alright. slowing down since we're coming into town. Alright. 
here we are. We have made it to Minedetta. Mendetta. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not, but. Alright, let's see where they want it. Alright, where do they need it? Right there, alright. Oh. Alright, let's get this bad boy parked. And yes, my backup skills still are not the, the greatest, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot. Go ahead and do a pull up real quick just so we can get be a little more straight. Alright. Should be able to just go straight back. We should be good. Bingo! Alright, that's gonna do it for this run. Alright, we got an excellent electronic components from Homeburn Opal Field to Mendetta. 66 miles, an hour and 35 minutes, 12.6 gallons of fuel consumed. Alright, so now we'll go ahead and I'll show, uh, show you the map real quick so you guys can uh, see what you get when you uh, get this, when you buy this map. Alright, so here's the whole map. The Far south you can get is Cooper Opals, which I have been to. Um, I've explored 71% of this map already. I have yet to get up to the northern part of the map. But the farthest north you can go is Sam Samariva. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But this is everything so far. It's very small, but like I said, it is a 1 to 2 scale, so it'll take you probably an hour, hour and a half if you were to go all the way from up here all the way down to here, I'd imagine. But yeah, this is what you get um, when you get when you get this map off of Rob's Patreon page. Like I said, you got the three dollar tier, six fifty, and the thirteen dollar tier. I'll have uh, everything linked in the description below for you guys, and uh, that'll get you all taken care of. Alrighty, well that's gonna do it for this episode of American Truck Simulator, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what below what you think of this map mod and uh, let me know if you're going to old freshers and uh, maybe i'll see you guys there until next time guys take care